Hey guys, I look kind of weird, but okay. So this is a video, it's called Bare Face Shay. I just made it up, but I really wanted to make the video because I wanted to talk about our skin. <sighs> I'm struggling. Um, I've struggled since I was a teenager with my skin, just based off having oily skin, acne prone skin, dark marks. I've been to, when I lived in New York, I had an issue where the air was so dirty that it just, the bacteria just ruined my skin. I was just acne prone. I went had a, a terrible, terrible, terrible experience with a dermatologist in New York. But when I moved back to Cleveland, I had a better experience. And then when I moved to Houston, now that I'm in Houston, I have an amazing dermatologist that helped me through it. Um, I went through all different types of regimens, but now I'm trying to do more of a holistic, but still going to the dermatologist right now. My face is bare. I just got out the shower. I just washed my hair. One thing I'm learning about my skin, I need it to be cleaned all the time. And I'm like sweating, not sweating, my hair is dripping. So if you see me just wiping it, it's because my hair is dripping. Um, but just a full-blown experience of uh, skin regimens that I was saying before, and it's been stressful. And what I want is just something that is simple, straight to the point, something that I can do routine, something that is easy, and something that provide results. But it all depends on us, right? How often we do it, as far as when we wear our makeup, how often we clean our face, how often we keep our hair done, how often we stay picking out of our skin, how often we stop putting makeup on our skin so much um, that it breaks it out. And also how often we clean our brushes and I'll make another video on that, but I'm trying to just push through and making beauty tip videos on how I use, how I proactively use the things that have been provided to me by my dermatologist and just the research that I've done online and using those things and building my regimen with my face, right? So right now it's super, super wet, dry. Um, I just got the shower, but I'm gonna wash my face again. Um, my dermatologist recommended this, Panoxo, I believe, but I get the 10% uh, benzoyl peroxide maximum strength because my skin is just heavily sensitive and very oily and very acne prone. And I work out and I'm in the sauna and I touch my face. I do all the things that you're not supposed to do, right? Not the working out and not in the sauna, touching my face. That's the one part. And I just can't help it because I'm always looking at it, scratching it. Uh, what is the thing? Just making sure it's together and just worrying about it all the time. So I just wanted to show you, I use this. For my face so I'm just gonna I just put a little bit just not a lot just maybe maybe like a small I don't want to use it all but cold water is what I use and I try to first like wet damp my face and what you can do with that if you want to like damp your face first you can use one of these small little and you can just damp it first just to get it wet and then I like to get it foamy and my, my main areas that are terrible is this area, my cheeks, because I sleep on my side of my bed and I break out so much in this area right here. So that's like one of the areas that I try to get. My forehead, I never had issues with my forehead that much, but I know my cheeks, oh, are like the worst areas. And I try to just foam it up. So maybe sometimes I overdo it. You don't need to because putting this, putting more on it doesn't do anything. Using it routinely does it. So I had to stop that. I was overusing because I was under routine, right? I wasn't doing it every night, every morning, and every night. Well, I do it every morning. I wasn't doing it every night. Night routine is just as important as your morning routine. I found that out. Research, Google, all the same things. YouTube, just understanding how my skin works and wanted it to be better. So then I take this cold water, right? And then I just, try to get as much as I can off of it. I really go for my sides as much as possible. And 
and the cold water feels amazing to me. Some people say lukewarm, I like cold water, but this is just my regimen that I use, but I'm gonna routinely use it as much as possible and record it. And let's go through this challenge. I'm getting a towel. So I love white towels. So getting a cotton towel and just damp it in. And I used to like traumatize my skin. Like I used to be rubbing it hard and trying to get on this and scratching it and exfoliating it and like really like damaging it because I'm so rough and I hated it. How my skin was, um, the results of my skin. I just hated how it looked. It was terrible. So I try to now be gentle with it because it's so sensitive. My skin is like, I have the most sensitive skin in the world, I feel like. Anything, any dandruff that falls on my face, anything that I touch, some wind blow with some dirt, I, I break out. It's just annoying. The pillow is dirty for one night, I break out. It's just the worst thing. Okay, so I'm done with that. So I use this apple cider vinegar and I use the with honey with the mother the Brag or Brag organic apple cider vinegar. And what I do is, sorry, I take one of these, cold water, and I don't want to, I don't want to drop, so as soon, soon as I mess with stuff, it just messes up. But I just wanted to show you my ears, my phone gonna drop. Um, but I use the cold water, and it's little, it's wet, damp, and then I pour, not a lot, just enough for you to see the color of it. And then I take it and I put it on my skin, especially on those areas that are dark marks. All right, here. And if you're not a big fan, you see I'm looking at my skin, because I like vinegar. If you're not a big fan of vinegar, I know this is like traumatizing, I know it's hard. Um, to deal with, and I'm not saying this, you, you, this is a, a must do, it's just something that I'm using to help with the, like, the dark marks right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, all of this, because, and try to get that bacteria out of my skin. So I try to use that, and I let it dry just a bit as I'm cleaning the bathroom up. And, Another thing I use, this is what I, I brought this in the bathroom because I need to show you. You guys need to drink as much water as you can. This saves lives, this keeps your skin as clear as possible. And what I'm trying to do is drink one or two of these a day if I can. My bladder is small, so I you have to use the restroom every five seconds. But I get it from Costco. Kirkland is really easy drink. I like smooth water that's really easy and I like it room temperature. So I drink the purified water with electrolytes, add it for taste. It is really good. I do love this water. It's really easy to drink, as I said before. Um, but it's also for, I don't know, 16, it's like 10 bucks. It's really cheap and it lasts so long. Um, but this is one thing I will get from Costco if you are able to, but I suggest using this as one of the regiments of your skin routine. This saves lives. We are always complaining about, we want our skin to look bright. We want our skin to be a certain way. We want certain things. Water is the number one thing and cleansing your skin as much as possible. I use this day and night. I use it in the morning and I use it in the in, in night, um, my nighttime time routine. I know I don't have something special and say, hey, what do you use in the morning? What do you use at night? You see, I'm scratching. What do you use in the morning? What do you use at night? I don't. I use the same thing in the morning and at night. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know. I'm just using it. I'm showing you. And then I'm going to keep using it and showing you and showing the results of these areas on my skin. So I cleansed it. I did my apple cider vinegar. And I also drink a cup also in the morning or in the afternoon. I just take a cup full of it. It's a great benefit to this. And I do that. Um, I have been to a dermatologist, so I want to show you the things that I do use. Um, azelic acid, 15% percent 
This is for my acne. So this is what I use for my acne, but it is prescribed by my dermatologist. It's something I use for my acne when I can't control it. This, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this. And this is for the dark marks. It helps with that. But if I don't use it as much, um, I use my apple cider vinegar and then, ta-da, guess what this is? Aloe vera. It's a natural aloe vera from the grocery store. I cut up the plant, I dig inside, dig right inside, and then this is what you get. And I put it in the refrigerator and I try to use it every morning and every night when I, before I go to bed. And I just take it and I put it all over my skin. This helps with hydration, aging, dark marks, all those lines. It just gives you the best results, they say, right? The, the natural, the better. If it comes to the earth, it's the best thing. It comes from the ground. So I need to get back on this because I used to use this religiously. I'm telling you, this, oh my gosh. It's a mask. And I love to use it. Before I go to bed, I love to use it in the morning. And then sometimes I use it in the morning. Not sometimes. Most of the time I use it in the morning and I let it just dry up and I let it stay the whole day. I don't put any makeup on. I just let it stay the whole day. And then I put moisturizer on afterwards. And I just use it. Especially on these areas. In this area. In this area. My problem areas. Stress. Stress. Stress stress all of it right so i let that stick and then i just use i usually go to bed after that but if your face feels dry and you need some type of moisturizer because i know people are like you have to use a moisturizer for your hand for your face and my moisturizer is, is messed up but i use what is this i know it's ghetto it's enough because it broke but i use the hydro boost Hydro Boost Neutrogena SPF 50. SPF 50 is something that we definitely need to use for sure. Any SPF, that's what my dermatologist said. You need to use the SPF. You live in Houston. You're not in Cleveland anymore. And I still use it there too. But that's what helped me. So I am going to show you guys a weekly diary of my skin and how it's looking and what I'm doing to show the results of me being consistent remember morning same routine night same routine those things that i'm using that's it drink plenty of water and then we'll see how it goes on a weekly basis um and like i said this is me being bare face shea blue shea just being authentic showing you all of the flaws in my face showing you all the things that i deal with um and just being authentic and showing you the things that i do and hopefully it works and if it don't work, we're going to have to try to something new and um, let me know what you use. Let me know what's natural for you because I will start using it too because it's only going to help me progressively have the skin that I want. Um, that's the main thing that I'm always having an issue with is like that's the, for me, it's the first impression. The skin, of course, the teeth. The skin is like when your mouth is closed, people see your face like, oh, my gosh, your skin is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, your skin is so glowy. Right. It's like having the pregnant skin. People say that they have the glow on them. And I want that glow on my face without having to do or spend hundreds of dollars on unnecessary things that don't work for me. Um, just using things that I know that is simple, um, natural as much as possible and straight to the point and not costly so that's where i'm going through right now in this shea blue shea bear face all for you and um let me know what you think comment go ahead and follow the blog shayblue.com and always comment because i'm going to start putting a video with my blog and we're just talk talk about the things that we're going through i know i'm going through stress as far as with my skin and being insecure about it and trying to develop it and one thing I know people will always say, like, I love your skin. And then when it's not to your expectations, then you feel like crap. And I don't like that. So I'm going to just show it all, show it bare, show the worst moments and try to develop it. All right. So go ahead and comment, subscribe to my blog, shayblue.com and let me know what you think.